Okay, folks, so here we are for another exciting video. This one covers the topic of installing Pentaho data integration on Mac operating system. This is Professor Halizak. First of all, what is Pentaho data integration or PDI? PDI is a software development tool that is used to create ETL transformations. What are ETL transformations? ETL stands for extract, transform, and load. It is basically the steps that one takes to bring data out of a source database system or a source of data, transform it, and then load it into a data warehouse or a data mart. So we typically use software like Pentaho data integration to program these transformations and thus move our data into our data warehouse. A couple of nice things about PDI, the community edition is free to use. It supports many different data formats and database management systems. So it's quite a, a very useful tool in order to get data out of an old system and bring it into a new system. One thing before we get really moving on this is that uh, the current version of PDI that I'd like you to work with is version 8.2. It requires the Java Development Kit 1.8. If you do not have JDK 1.8 installed, please go and review the uh, other video that I have to install JDK 1.8 on Mac OS X. And before I go any further, I just want to double check that I have Java installed on my system. So I'm going to go to my applications. I'm going to go into utilities and open up my terminal app. And then I'm just going to run Java space dash version. So run the Java program and use the dash version to see what version we are running. And here I can see that it is indeed version 1.8.0 and update 261. So this is a fairly current version. So that's good news. I know now that I have Java installed on my Mac and it is the right version. Okay, the nice thing, other nice thing about Pentaho data integration is that there's no setup or install program. You just download, unzip, and you run it. Okay, and what I'd like to do is, um, instead of just leaving this in the downloads folder, which I think is a bad practice, um, I'd like to create a, a Pentaho folder inside of the home directory. Uh, so on a Mac, you have the users. Um, this goes by your username. And then inside of that, we want to create a Pentaho folder. So let's do that first. I'm going to run Finder. I'm going to go to my home. Then I'm going to right click anywhere in here and say new folder. And I'm just going to name it Pentaho. Okay. So now once we download the software, we'll actually put it inside of this folder and unzip it and we will be ready to go. Okay, so again, in Finder, go to home, right click, new folder, and we can create that new folder there. You can go to Hitachi's website and download the version of PDI they have there. There are some newer versions. Uh, I would, instead, I would like you though to use the version that I have packaged up. And the reason for that is I've already installed a bunch of additional database drivers, as well as support for the Oracle Cloud Wallet, both of which we're going to use for our class. So just grab this URL. It'll be in the description as well. We'll copy that. And then we're going to come here and we will open up our web browser. And I can just paste in that URL and we will start it downloading. Okay, looks like it's gonna take a few minutes to download. So I'm going to pause recording and come back once the download is finished. Okay, so it looks like our download has finished. So let me take a look at it in the downloads folder. All right, we find here data integration.zip as expected. All right, now, instead of just unzipping it here, what I wanna do is I wanna bring this over to my home folder and then into Pentaho and we'll drop it there. So now we've got it inside of the uh, Pentaho folder inside of home. At this point, because it's a zip file, I can right click on it 
and we say open with archive utility. And we'll just go ahead and let that get going. So what this will do is unzip it directly into the Pentaho folder. And then we will uh, have a data integration subfolder inside here that we can, we can work with. Uh, again, it's always nice to just get things out of the downloads folder and, uh, and get it set up in a, in a nice way. Okay, great. So here we've got our new subfolder and we have all of the necessary files here in the data integration subfolder. Okay, so, so far so good. We've got everything downloaded. Uh, you can clean, actually you can clean up the zip file if you want, I'll, I'll leave that to you. So now that we've got it uncompressed and unzipped, we now wanna run the spoon.shell script to launch PDI. And so to do that, we're going to again, go into our applications, we'll go to utilities, we'll open up the terminal program, take a look at our files here in the home. We see the Pentaho folder is here. So let's change directory to Pentaho. See what we have here. There's our zip file and the data integration folder. So let's change to data integration and we should see all of our files. Okay, now there's just one more step that we have to do here. If we look at the permissions on the spoon file, we can see that it has, well, it does have read, write, and execute. So we ought to be able to run it, but just in case, if it doesn't have those permissions on your system, you can change the mode. You can say change mod or chmod 755 spoon.shell, and that will ensure that it is executable. So once you have that, we can just invoke spoon.shell and off it goes. There's a bunch of debugging information that's going to show up, uh, specifically what Java version you're running, as well as um, other, other details of the options that were passed in for Spoon. If, in case you have any issues, I might ask you to copy and paste some of those uh, log entries there. Okay, um, looks like I must have had an old file open here that I had moved, yeah. I don't know why it's still complaining about that. I may have to clean that out, but it looks like we're in good shape here. We've got our ability to create a new transformation. Yeah, everything looks like it's, it's up and running. So at this point, I won't show you know, too much, but this is where you're basically gonna go to create, um, to create new transformations in, uh, in Pentaho data integration. And I have a tutorial that walks you through all of those steps. So I think we're in good shape. If we want to get out of it, we can just pull down the file menu and choose exit. Okay, uh, I'll just show you real quick what some of those debugging statements were at the very beginning. It would be right around the place where we invoked. Yeah, right up here. Okay, so right at the moment we started the spoon.sh shell script we can see what Java version it picked up that it's using, and we can see these Java options. Uh, so these are important in case there's a problem and we need to do some debugging. This is basically where we're going to, uh, we're going to look. Okay, so I think that's it for now. We can close this up. Uh, if you want, you can delete this zip file. We don't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna drag that to the trash and no, I have to actually hit the trash, there we go. And yeah, I think we're in great shape. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.